All right, uh, pleasant good day to you. Um, permit me to share with you Project A from the Arduino Fundamental Exam Starter Kit Project Book. And Project 8 is the digital hourglass. Um, yes, Project 8 is the digital hourglass. You said in this project, you build a digital hourglass that turns on an LED every 10 minutes. So it will use, this project uses um, six LEDs a 10 kilo ohms resistor, um, six 220 ohms resistor, and a tilt switch. Um, so how the tilt switch works, the tilt switch has um, a ball inside that connects um, the power when the switch is tilted. So therefore, it allows the LEDs to come on in succession. So there are a few things here um, that is new based on the other projects. So first, um, take a look at the board here and the, the, the diagram. So we're bringing power into the breadboard from the Arduino Uno. And we're using the six red LEDs. Um, they are connected to from pin two to pin seven. Um, and this connection is passing through a 220 ohms um, resistor. The, then it is being grounded off um, by the ground leg. Um, our tilt switch is using a 10 kilo ohms um, resistor and uh, this is going to pin 8. So we're using from pin 2 to pin 8. Let me scroll down here, see if I can scroll down. Um, show you the schematics. So this is our Arduino Uno. And we're seeing here, um, these are the LEDs. These um, here represents um, our resistors. And we have um, one resistor here that works with the tilt switch. Um, and this is a 10, 10 kilo ohms resistor. And we have the other six um, 220 ohms resistor um, going to each of the LEDs. Um, so, what does the code look like? What does the sketch look like? Um, let me see if I can find this sketch here. Yes, I think I have it here. All right. Shift this across. Okay, so you can see um, you can see the entire entire code, entire sketch here. So the first thing that I did was um, create some global variables. Um, I created the uh, const, constant um, int for my switch. And again, the switch is attached to pin 8. Um, what is new here? I used in this project, um, they use an unsigned long. And this is... a uh, variable that holds a large number. Um, the number is the number that, that allows the LEDs to come on is much too large to store as an int. So therefore, um, they used an unsigned long. And like I said, each LED would come on after 10 minutes, which is 600,000 milliseconds. So that number is much too large to store as an int. 
So that is why it is being stored as an unsigned long, okay? Um, the other variables that we have here, we have the switch state um, and the previous switch state. Those are two other variables, global variables that was created to um, store the state of the switch, whether the switch is on, switch is off, and it also stores, because it's a tilt switch, it stores um, the previous um, switch state. My LEDs, um, the variables, um, like I said, start from pin 2. And here we have the 600 milliseconds, which is 10 minutes. Um, so each LED should come on in, 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 in 10 minutes. But I'll, I'll change that because this is much too um, large to show in this video. And I want to show you how the LEDs will light um, things. So I'll change this um, just to two seconds. I don't want 10 minutes. I'll change that to 2,000 milliseconds. So that will be... Um, two seconds so what also um, is new here is the way um, we run the, the the pin mode in um, in in setup and we know that everything that is run in setup um, only happen once it happens at the starting of your program um, your loops or void loop everything in that function of, of, of void loop um, is performed over and over and over. But the function um, void setup um, allows anything that you want to happen at the start of your program. Um, if, you, if you're making a, a game, if, you, if you're coding a game and you want to um, initialize something, your player, you want your, your characters to be created at that point, you would run those things in your setup, okay? So similarly, we want to um, initialize our LEDs or um, ensure that the power is coming to our LEDs, and we do that in the setup. So that is only happening once. So the way that um, the pin mode usually connects is we would do pin mode for each LED. So we would do pin mode, um, LED 1, output, pin mode, LED 2, output, um, and, we, and we know that why uh, um, LED is an output um, device, right? Because it is taking something from the, from the, the platform, so to speak, or from the board. Um, from the environment, all right? So it is taking from the environment. Um, it, is, it is waiting for a signal from the en environment. So it is outputting. And, and what is it outputting? It is outputting that light, right? Light energy. So, um, but in this case, we use the for loop to um, initialize these LEDs. And, and how this is done, we say for int x equal to and then we have the x is when x is less than 8. And why less than 8? Because we're using um, 6 LEDs and we're starting at pin 2. So we, we're taking pin 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 would be less than 8. So it runs that um, piece of code until the condition um is true and that condition meaning that that anything that is less than eight right or up to the point where where it is less than eight right so every time this piece of for loop runs it adds one to this two so this again here is a loop um is a for loop and every time it runs it adds one to this um two so the next time it run is going to be three four five six seven so those are the different pins that um the leds are connected to then we have our switch state and our switch is an input device um so 
we initialize our switch here and then we go into our loop so the loop is now going to trigger the various LEDs based on first time and then based on the switch state okay so we have here um, our digital right LED high and this here means that we're turning on the LED all right so digital right um, and the LED high is turn when we when the LED is going to be turned on if we scroll down here we see if we use a um, an, another if statement here and if the switch state has changed then if switch state is not equal to previous switch state and we see this here this means not equal to um, exclamation mark and equal sign if switch state is not equal to previous switch state turn all led off right or you turn it low that means um you are controlling the power that is coming to the led and when the power is low the led is not on or is off so this is what we have here so um anything else all right yes so all right let me show you what will happen let me run this code onto the board and i am going to show you here plug it out bring it back now And we see the each LED is coming on um, approximately two seconds after the last one. All right. So what you see, I tilted and it went off. So this is what um, this project looks like. Um, I hope that you guys are seeing it here properly. all right so again um how can we use something like this um we use a tilt switch with um leds or a tilt switch with with something else um figure out think about it how how can you use a tilt switch so we have used so far we have used the push, push button switches um but now we are using this tilt switch and think about ways in which you can use a tilt switch on a prototype um some some iot um, prototype that you might want to might want to create all right you can use it um to maybe turn on and off a signal light for an alarm system um so again think about ways that you can use those and i will see you um next week with project nine 